you guys wanted to learn some more back porch riffs, well, how about this one? That's not to any song I've written yet. I just came up with it this morning, but it just has that back porch grind. Yeah, yeah, so I'm going to teach you how to do that. First and foremost, this video is brought to you by SpielGuitars.com. SpielGuitars.com, that's where you find this one. Acoustic, electric, three string, gorgeous, magnificent. Uh, Padron Cigar Box. I still have a few of these in stock. SpielGuitars.com. Yes, it's got the preamp in there so you can do the classic sound or you can do the uh, lo-fi tone. But right now for this, I want the buttery tones. So I dialed up the preamp so that it has full bass, no mid almost full treble and no presence and it's just giving me that all right so let me break this riff down for you um this is another one that once you get it down you're going to be playing it until you wear a hole through your guitar so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring both my picking hand, I'm going to bring it up to the slide hand so you see everything going on together. And we're going to do a magic little close-up right there. And it starts, what I'm doing is I'm hitting, well, first of all, it's tuned G, D, G. G, D, G. It's an open G, G, D, G. Okay, so this riff it's going to take a while. You'll get it down mechanically, and then you'll get the groove down once you feel it. It starts open on the low string, and then open on the high string, and then hit the middle string, and then tap your stubby slide, stubbyslide.com for this. It's a king slide. St touch that slide, middle string, third fret, and then open and then do it again and then high string open so yes I'm gonna break this down it goes like this low open high open third string open and then third fret and then back open then high string. So it's that's the first part of it. And you see my picking hand exactly what it's doing. So what gives it that that grind is where I go like this. So what I did was I played that riff, but then I did that slide up. And what happens is on the second string, third fret to the fifth fret, what happens is then it plays, it goes from an F to a G and it matches the high string. that a lot in harmonica you see that a lot in slide guitar and blues uh, where you have one string coming up to match the same tone of the other so let's break this down let's do it slow again and see how whenever I go from the third to the fifth this stubby slide is only touching that middle string so that high string can ring out 
without being slid. You don't want to touch it. You want that high string to be untouched. In fact, you know how I do it. I'm going to give the camera like this. I'm going to move the tuner out of the way. And then we'll do this. See how that high string is not being slid on. Ah, I'm messing it up. So, get used to using this part of the slide, just the tip, and just... So, okay, let's get back to this. We started out, the first part of the riff is this. We add that, where we slide across from five to three. And then the other thing I do is I go so instead of three or instead of fifth fret to third fret I go third fret to fifth fret So there you go. It's a simple riff, but it's one that's going to give you that back porch grind, where that's what this series is, is back porch grind. I like playing this riff finger style. I'm not going to teach you how to do it, because it's tough for me to show. It's kind of a natural thing that I've developed myself. I'm actually using like a claw hammer where I'm using the backs of my fingernails to come down like that. My name's Shane Spiel. You guys really got to check this guitar out. SpielGuitars.com has it. SpielGuitars.com. Make sure you subscribe. I'm going to give you more lessons. And of course, yes, on this side is all the other video lessons you can check out as well. My name's Shane Spiel. Thank you so much for watching. Leave some comments and thumbs ups. Bye.